workspaces dictate the look of 12D when it is open. The main component being which toolbars are on and where are they located in the 12D model project view, as well as where the output window is located. A workspace setup file is used to define this configuration. In a 12D model project, the workspace setup option allows the user to create new workspace setup files, which can be loaded into a project. The workspace setup option can be found under project, management, workspace, setup. Currently in my 12D model project, I have the toolbars and output window configured for how I would like them when conducting a water design project. This is indicated by the water toolbars on the top panel. To explain each of the buttons in this panel, right will enable you to write out the current workspace you have loaded into a workspace setup file, either to the working folder, user folder, or a non-standard location. I will save my current workspace to the working folder. Then navigate to my working folder. Take a copy of the workspace.4dw setup file created and save it to my non-standard server location. Renaming it to drainage workspace.4dw. For the benefit of future steps in the video, I'll also save a copy to the standard user folder location C12D14 user. Workspace setup files stored in the working folder or user folder will not be referenced upon project startup. So to open a project with a predefined workspace assigned, it should be done through the environment configurations file, which we will cover next, or the reload button will load a workspace setup file from the working folder if one exists there. And if not, then from the user folder. If a workspace setup file does not exist in either of these locations, the workspace won't be changed. The clear button will delete a workspace setup file from your working folder if one exists. If one does not exist in this location, the user folder will be checked for a workspace setup file and if one exists there, that will be deleted. If a workspace setup file exists in both of these locations, you will need to click clear twice to delete both of them. The first from the working folder and the second from the user folder. To explain export first, export will write out the current workspace you have loaded into a workspace setup file to the location specified in the field above. I'm going to change my toolbars around to what I would like to have set up for conducting my road design, then export that directly to my non-standard server location, calling it roadworkspace.4dw. I'll remove the water toolbars from the top panel and add the road and design toolbars to the side panel so we can easily tell the difference between workspaces.
If you have access to our workspace setup file, you can browse to it and select import to load that workspace into the current 12D model project. I'll demonstrate doing that with the drainage workspace.4DW created earlier, which was placed on my server. You'll see now that the drainage design workspace has been reapplied to the view. Now that I have two workspace files in my non-standard server location, I'll close my existing project, launch the 12D model client and open the environment configurations file that I have set up in previous videos in this series. I'll then create two workspace configurations, one for road and the other for drainage design, referencing my road and drainage workspace setup files respectively, and write out the environment configurations file. Now when opening my 12D model demo project using the environment configurations file just written, I'll select the all modeling environment configuration, road design dongle configuration, and road design workspace, and select open. For more information on environment and dongle configurations, refer to the previous two videos in this series. You'll see now that when 12D model opens, that the road design workspace with the corresponding toolbars has been loaded into my project. It is worth noting that when a 12D model project is closed, the final positions of the toolbars and output window are recorded. When the project is reopened, the toolbars and output window will be in the same position as when the project was closed. This is of course not the case if you open the project with a workspace configuration through the environment configurations file as we have just shown. Under project, management, workspace, walk right over load and you can select a workspace setup file from one of locally in the project, from the setups folder, which contains workspaces shipped with 12D, or directly from the user folder.